Hello, this is Ganon Pounder. I'm a field application engineer from Tektronix. This video is one of a series of videos on 1000 base T gigabit ethernet testing. In this video, I am going to discuss how to perform transmitter testing with a disturber. To perform this test, you will need a 5 series or 6 series Tektronix oscilloscope with the Windows option and the Tech Express Ethernet option included. You will also require an AFG or AWG with at least two channels. In this case, I am using an AFG31102 from Tektronix. You will also need at least two BNC cables of equal length. For probing, we recommend a TDP1500 or TDP3500 differential probe from Tektronix. For the fixture, you will require a TF GBE from Tektronix shown here. You see here our TC5 section of the Ethernet test fixture, which is used for the tests with a disturber. We have also attached all of the jumpers required for testing with lane A. I am highlighting them here. Here is a close-up view with the differential probe attached. Here I am showing you that we are connected to P18 with the differential probe. You also note that the positive side of the probe is on the side with the mark on the board. One last thing that you will need before beginning the testing is a device that can be tested. The IEEE spec requires that you output test modes 1 through 4 from your Ethernet port. If you're not able to output those test modes, you will need to put software on your platform that's capable of forcing it to put those test modes out. You will have to talk to the developers of your system. So now let's go ahead and begin the testing. First, we go up to our application and start Tech Express Ethernet. This will take some time to start. Now you see that it is running. We have our 1000 base T test chosen. I want to make sure that my configuration is correct. So yes, I have my AFG selected and my MSO 68B, so they're both connected. I connected my AFG using the USB TMC connection. On my test selection, I go ahead and pick the test with Disturber. One test I will not choose is with TX clock because I have no way of getting the transmitter clock out of my de particular device. Some of these tests I know will fail. This is a very old platform, so I think that's uh, causing some issues with some of these tests. One other thing to check is reports. We'll make sure your report is in the format that you want to output. There's the MHT. PDF and CSV file formats that you can choose. I'm going to choose the MHT file format. Now I'm ready to go, so I'm going to go ahead and start the test. While the test is running, I will accelerate some sections because it does take some time to complete the test. Now one thing that you want to do to start is to go ahead and send out test mode one because that's the first test mode we're going to test with. It's telling us here where to connect our jumpers and this is what test mode one is supposed to look like and this is what test mode one looks like coming out of our platform with the disturber on. And you can see that our disturber is already on that's coming from my AFG. It's automatically set up by the software. So I'm going to go ahead and push continue to complete the testing. It does all the template tests first, so we'll see the templates be adjusted to match.
Now it's telling us to change our pattern for a test mode 4 pattern. This is for the distortion test. I'm now outputting test mode 4, so I'm going to go ahead and start. And here we have a failing test because some of our tests did fail. Um, uh, but you can see all the tests, see your templates, drawings, your other drawings, all your, all your numbers here. And that completes your testing for a thousand gigabase T with Disturber. Thank you for viewing this video on Gigabit Ethernet Testing. It's one of a series of videos on Gigabit Ethernet Testing. If you have any questions specific to the platforms that you are working on, please contact your local Tektronix field applications engineer. They'll be more than happy to help. Thank you.